Hello there, today I'll be discussing the difference between pure structural recursion, accumulative recursion, and generative recursion. So, I realize I put a typo over here. But, the important thing is we first need to understand what pure structural recursion is. Pure structural recursion says that either a parameter stays the same, or a parameter goes towards base case. So in this scenario, we only have one parameter actually, which is the list of numbers. And list of numbers converges to empty because we see here we always do first and they always get smaller we chop off we chop off uh, sorry we chop off here the list of numbers we continuously chop it off make it smaller and smaller and smaller until it becomes a list of number and that's when it's going to stop if we want to add a constant multiplier we could have a const here plus first const uh, constant multiplier and then inside here we would add const again this would still be pure structural recursion because the constant we're not actually changing it now accumulative recursion means you accumulate the answer somewhere in one of your parameters so in the case of accumulative recursion you could actually have an additional parameter so we can have a list of numbers and then here we could have answer now inside con we could have empty list of numbers and in this case we wouldn't return zero we would actually return the answer else we would do sum rest list of numbers plus answer first list of numbers now notice inside here we're actually accumulating and I have two functions with the exact same definitions and my contracts different. but we have this function over here now if I do some list list one two let's test it. Expects two arguments, found only one. Now we have an additional argument which needs to be zero. Now the way this works is it uses accumulation. So we have our base case, and notice the base case before was zero, but in this case we're actually outputting this variable. Here we're doing sum and we're going towards a base case here. But our second parameter is actually growing. It's not staying the same or diverging towards base case. It's actually growing each time. So in this case, we're actually adding the first element in here. And you have to spend some time visualizing this, but this is what it's called a cumulative recursion. A cumulative recursion says that it's kind of like pure structural recursion, but you generally have one or two parameters that accumulates the answer. And you get what's uh, known as um, subproblems. You get a subproblem each time. So in this case, we actually store the value of the subproblem of the sum of the of the list so far in this case we actually store it so when we do summation of one the first item we have the sum of all the items until right before two when we go one more step we actually get slightly more and so on and so forth so you always go towards closer and closer to the case so I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial on accumulative recursion if you have any questions ask down below and I will be covering generative recursion in the next video.